There I was, watching the Apple event, eagerly waiting to hear about the new VR set, and these wankers didn't even mention it, period. I mean, I don't give a crap about your new iPhone, so I can take better pictures of my dick. Don't do that, but you get the drift, right? Today, I'm going to go through all the information that we know so far about the new VR kit. First of all, it's been one hell of a journey to even get some information about the Apple VR AI headset. But finally, it looks like we're about to see some traction. Bloomberg has spotted some trademarks all stemmed around the reality branding, which, according to previous leaks, looks like what Apple is going for in terms of a name. Whoa, whoa, hang on, guys. So they're calling their product reality when it's a virtual reality product. That is confusing. I mean, aren't we meant to be escaping reality to go into the virtual reality, but instead they're actually calling their virtual reality product reality? Make it make sense. And Bloomberg also spread other trademarks of this similar reality branding. Applications have been covered for the names Reality One and Reality Pro. And although we can't prove it's Apple, Bloomberg has noted the law firms used in each territory match the ones used by Apples in the past. Oh, really? And these sneaky buggers do not stop there. The shell company Immersive Health Solution, that's such a Marty Bird company name. Anyway, it's typically used for filings by firms looking to avoid detection. Therefore, it seems we have two different systems for this new VR set, Reality One and Reality Pro. So great, we know what processor the Apple product will be using, but how powerful will this Apple headset actually be? Well, it gets off to a good start. According to Mark Gurman, who works at Bloomberg, we'll be using the M2 processing chips, which have been revolutionary. Gurman sources as if he's like some sort of spy. The headset will come packed with 16 gigabytes of RAM. Combined with the impressive M2 chip benchmarks, it seems that the device is not going to be short on performance. It will just be a more optimized version in regards to virtuality graphics and resolution. It does seem to match the Reality OS trademark that was grabbed a couple of days ahead of the WWDC. This VR headset from Apple could rival your MacBook Pro. Imagine having all that processing power in there in your eyes. Also, in terms of what could work with the Apple VR headset, we're talking about gloves, finger gestures. It could be as simple as pinching things to move things across the screen or sliding, or even typing on a virtual keyboard, how we typically operate with most MacBook products or Apple products, so it does make sense if we're gonna move forward in something like this, just more in a virtual environment. And also the Apple Watch, of course, even though I haven't got one. Why would I want that? I've got my 25 pound one, which does more than what I need. And I'm not pulling this information out of thin air. Apple recently won a pair of patents related to the use of finger gestures for a virtual reality headset. This could potentially cover VR gloves to register finger gestures and a variation of applications. And just a little reminder guys, if you guys are liking the content so far, do hit the like button. If you need some motivation, here it is. There's even talk of a mixed reality, virtual reality headset, which would be quite interesting. It means bringing in things from the outside world. You can't see me do that, but if I was, I'd be grabbing things outside and bringing it into my reality. You know, grab, what have I got here? Look, this, just bringing this into my reality and looking at it in a virtual world. This is good for your skin, by the way, if you try to get stuff. Or how about this for mixed reality? Here you can see you can interact with your external environment. You could smash a hole in the ground and do a spot of fishing in your own living room. Great, I can't wait to put that on my head and see what this N2 powerful chip can do. However, it's all for naught if this is super expensive and Apple products are known for this. Will this product cost? And don't bump me, Apple, not your like. The latest report from Ming Chi Kao, I think I've said that right, suggests that the price for the Apple VR AI headset will be between $2,000 and $2,500. Considering the prices for the MetaQuest, which are around $400 respectively, and other VR sets like the Valve Index, which is around $1,000, this is definitely on the higher end. Depending on what is possible with this new Apple VR kit, it might be okay, but of course, we need to still see more information. So when's this product coming out? Well, according to reports, we're looking at around early 2023, so first quarter, maybe second quarter. Anyway, that's me done talking about Apple's new virtuality product called Reality. Still trying to get my head wrapped around that name. I mean, maybe that's what the plan is, just to trick people out like fuck reality, but you're going. Anyway, if you found that interesting, do subscribe. I'm gonna be bringing more updates on the tech news market as well, and more future videos. So stay tuned for that. And don't forget to like.